everyone welcome back to another video so today we're going to be doing a three month love prediction we're going to see your love life three months from now um also what was funny is we had the lovers underneath my tarot deck so i thought i'd just keep the lovers out because i thought it was really cute and thought it would be nice to have in the reading so we have group number one group number two and group number three i'm also going to include zodiac signs in this reading as well just to let you guys know a little bit more insight so let's get started we have Group number one, two and three, and let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what uh, star signs you could be dealing with, or just your star sign. So we have Capricorn, Virgo, and Cancerian. Okay, those are the star signs we are dealing with in this reading. And then from the tarot, we have the King of Cups and the Seven of Wands. We then have simplicity, worth waiting for, peridot, life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. We then have healing, compassion. Why is my hand shaking so much? Compassion, moderation and adventure. We then have Clear Quartz, and we also have Beauty, Fear, and Pleasure. So that's a lot of confusing energy, guys. So let's have a look at these at the top, because I can't see the cards on the <laughs> So let's do these cards first. I'm very happy with this spread, actually. I'm really being conscious of like trying to make it look neat, because normally they look so messy after I'm finished. So. Um, so we have beauty, fear, and pleasure. For some reason, I'm, I'm getting on one, two, and three. So maybe this is step one, two, and three. So what I'm seeing is, is you're going to see the beauty within the situation, okay? You're going to see the beauty within yourself, within your love life. And you're going to be much more open with who you are, okay? So basically, you are going to release fear. Once you release fear, you will have much more pleasure. So what's going to happen is you're going to see the beauty in the situation. And this is actually going to diminish the fear that you have for yourself. And then you're going to have absolute pleasure. So whatever mode you're in right now, whether you're in beauty, whether you're in fear, whether you're in pleasure. Basically, if you're worried about your love life not turning out well, look at the beauty of the situation. What can you do to help yourself? Okay. And basically that will cause pleasure and that means things will start moving more. And also if you're in this fear, just let it kind of happen naturally, guys. Like let things move through naturally. Um, because basically I definitely feel like for you guys, um, your, the pleasure is going to feel much, much nicer. And I'm seeing like transformation. There's so many blue butterflies around this girl. So I definitely feel like it's really going to work out for you. And we also, I don't think it's, no, this is, I was going to say this is a full moon, but no, it's the waning gibbous moon. So stunning. So let's have a look and see what other energies are coming forward for you. So we have. Healing, compassion, moderation, and adventure. We then have simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of the excess. We then have worth waiting for. Your patience will be rewarded. That's literally, these two cards are literally what we just had. So let me just take a sip of water. That's literally what we just had, guys, with those three cards. It's like, this is the beauty and this is the pleasure, yeah, of what we just had. So I definitely feel like... I only got really really cold um so I definitely feel like you guys are really gonna kind of look at the you need to kind of look at this in simplicity basically what you need to do is work on the basics of the situation how are you going to make yourself feel good in terms of this person coming in okay and there is definitely someone coming in for you guys this is a lot to do with your control over the situation and how compassionate you are towards yourself the more compassionate you're towards yourself the easier things will be for you the easier things will kind of um, move along okay and basically this person is waiting is worth waiting for your patience will be rewarded you're you've got a lot of patience and you're having to have a lot of patience for this situation but it's going to be really really good and you're going to end up with a possible water sign as well water sign or um earth sign and i definitely feel like you guys it's really really important for you to meditate that's really going to help this person come in and in terms of <clears throat> this person coming in it's really helpful for you guys to um do things that you don't normally do 
And also, when you meet this person, I don't feel like you're going to go on a lot of adventures, okay? Um, so I do see you meeting somebody in possibly by December time or January. And this uh, Seven of Wands, I do feel like you may be fighting off something in terms of like... You may be fighting off kind of waiting for this person. You may feel like you need the need to hurry, the need to speed things up. And basically what they're telling me is they're, it's so worth waiting for. What you need to do is focus on the basics and let go of the excess. So focus on eating well, looking after your body, looking after your happiness and do things that just excite you, you know? You need to get that excitement back into your life and possibly talk about how you feel, maybe journal, things like that. I definitely see you going near water, guys. So if you feel the need to go near water, I feel like that's gonna be really good for you. A lot of you guys, I feel like, who are watching this particular group are a water sign. Cause I'm really looking at the water here and the water here behind her and the unicorn. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's like a lot of water and then we have some water here as well. Cause it's not like an overwhelming amount of water. It's not like they're being absolutely flooded, but it's like, it's, you're kind of seeing things from a different perspective. You're kind of looking out from, um, you're looking out from the shore, okay? So what's gonna happen is you guys are gonna go for a massive healing stage. And in moderation, it's all about making sure you are, have balance within your life, okay? Making sure everything is completely balanced and you're having a lot of compassion for yourself, okay? Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing for you guys. I'm seeing this as being really, really positive. I'm just gonna get clarification on that Seven of Wands. <clears throat> and see what that is. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. So, fearing change. That's what I'm getting, fearing change. You've got judgment underneath. This is actually really good because it's you kind of get, oh, it's you kind of getting stable and your your um, old ways of thinking are kind of being shifted. So the universe is getting you to think in a more stable way because your, your mind is kind of like this, okay? It's getting you, I'm seeing this like a compass where it has compassion and it's like compass, the word compass. I feel like you're being guided by the universe to kind of get things into perspective, get things into neat boxes. So how do you feel about your love life? Do you feel confident? Do you feel like you are in love with yourself? Do you feel like you love yourself? Do you feel like things are balanced? And if not, the universe is going to help you shift that, it's going to help you get grounded, but you may be resisting it as well for some of you, not for all of you. Um, this applies also for those of you who are in relationships as well. Um, as I said, all the things I've said are obviously compliant, if that makes if that's the right word. Um, but King of Cups would be um, just possibly more love coming into your relationship, okay? And in terms of this Ace of Pentacles, there probably will be a new start for our singles. This will be a new start for you guys coming in, possibly the Earth sign coming in through work, um, for a job. And also this could be through a grounded position. So I do see like a organic opportunity coming towards you, like it's not forced, like it comes in very organically and it comes in at the exact right time that you need it, okay? So no need to worry guys, have patience, meditate and you're doing a really, really good job. So congratulations guys. So that's what's going to happen for you guys in three months. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated, please let me know down below in the comment section. Subscribe, uh, like and comment if you'd like to get private reading. All my information is down below. And if it didn't resonate, I just said it fly or you can choose another group. I don't want it to fly. I'm cold. So I'm like holding my sleeves. So thank you so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys. Hello group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you in from three months from now. So we have... Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, and the Gemini. So this could be your star sign, or this could be the person that you are going to be dealing with or are dealing with currently. We then have the Three of Wands, the Magician, the um, Nine of Pentacles. Sorry, my brain just went. Brrr. The uh, eight of wands and also the page of cups this is looking so positive oh my god i love this amazing we then have practice the best way to get good at a skill is to practice 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 until you get it right we then have happy thoughts to feel happier right now think about a memory or something else that makes you smile we then have lapis lazuli let's put this guy okay here 
<laughs> Lapis Lazuli. We then have Financial Discipline. Healing Heart Chakra. Cinnabar Business Sacral Chakra. And then we also have Surrender and Realization. Wow, this is a really nice reading, guys. Okay, so firstly what I'm seeing from the top two cards with Surrender and Realization is that. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and eleven is two. So so I'm adding up the two numbers. So you're gonna have a partnership definitely for you guys who are single. Um, you're going to surrender to the situation. What you need to do is you're going to realise that you need to surrender to the situation, okay? That's basically what the um, what the universe is telling you to do. It's just to open yourself up to new opportunities. Link with people. Network. Um, yeah, open yourself up, you know? Like, I feel like possibly for a few of you could be feeling quite stuck, feeling a little bit stubborn. Um, but just let the energies move through you and it possibly could be astrological as well as to why you're feeling like that. Um, you're going to get a realisation and you're going to surrender to it. I think it's going to be absolutely stunning. So that's what I need to say for those two, which is absolutely amazing. So over here we have financial discipline. We have a uh, few shite and we have cinnabar. So we also have business. So it's something to do with business around your love life. So you could meet somebody within work, um, networking, as I said before, because that could, that could be quite um, accurate for you guys. Um, and it's also really good for you to think happy thoughts around the situation. Um, think about memory or something else that makes you smile. So really focus on things that make you feel good. Um, and I feel like it's definitely going to be a life-changing experience for you guys. It's going to be either an epiphany or an experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. So you are being supported through this. You may not feel like it, but you are completely supported through your love life. And things will be changing very, very soon, okay? We also have Fuchsite, Healing Heart Chakra. So your heart is healing, okay? You guys could also be going away quite a what quite bleh, sorry, <laughs> quite soon or quite a few times, and you're possibly just gonna get some time away, um, possibly have a holiday, or just generally just get away from um, with work, that sort of thing. And this is also gonna because you're gonna be open to new opportunities, the universe is gonna grant you a wish, and then you're gonna be changing your relationship status from single to in a relationship. For some of for you guys who are in a relationship already, you could be going on holiday with your partner and you could also be moving into a more kind of like love sector. So I do feel like for some of you, if you're already dating somebody, you're going to be moving forward to a stronger commitment. Um, if you are possibly waiting for an engagement, that is that commitment coming forward. We also have Pisces here as well as Scorpio. So you have two, uh, two, sorry, two water signs and three air signs here. Um, there's definitely a movement towards changing your status. So I feel like you possibly could change your status within work as well. You could be getting a one up in terms of like your work life. So you could be getting um, a promotion and this could basically make you feel on top of the world, make you feel really, really good about yourself and make you feel like you're really improving within your love life. Okay. Uh, and your financial life, um, obviously your financial life first and then your love life if it's an, um, a job opportunity. Uh, I feel like you're harvesting as well. So I feel like you're harvesting something. Like I'm seeing with this Libra card, she's got like two kind of like bales of like, not hay, but like grass. And I feel like she's harvesting it. So I feel like you guys are really harvesting something and you're almost bringing it into being. You're almost, this is you kind of waiting for your ships to come in and then they do come in and then you feel really freaking good, okay? And then you have a really good love opportunity coming for you guys. This is really, really positive, guys. Like this, this group is really, really fun. I love it. This is so good. I think also with financial discipline, they just told me it's to just be really... Not stingy with your money, but like they're, they're saying being stingy with your money. But for some of you, it's really good for you to save up your money and just be kind of more thinking about the future in terms of your financial um, situation, whether you need to save up more money, whether you need to kind of um, balance out your work life and your love life. Um, there's definitely some sort of financial discipline going on, whatever that means to you. And I'm seeing a lot of you guys are getting red cheeks and kind of feeling embarrassed. So for some of you, you guys may be shopaholics, which I'm... No, I'm not. Um, I, that is something I do sometimes as well. I used to do it so much. 
especially when I had my student money when I was in university. So I don't do it anymore, but oh my God, guys, it is so easy to do that. So honestly, I feel like you could be spending a lot of money on crystals and cards as well, which is pretty great. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so I really hope this resonated with you guys. If it did, please give a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you would like to. If it did resonate and just let it fly, or you can choose another group. Also, I have my private readings down below. If you'd like to get a private reading, feel free to message me on Instagram or email me at Victoria here to inspire at gmail.com. So thank you so much, guys. I love you so, so much. Also remember to practice. Practice um, feeling stable. Practice um, working for yourself, living your own life. And this person will come in really, really easily. I see it really, really nicely. So nice one, guys. Uh, well done for you guys who are in this energy. Congratulations. And yeah, I feel the need to clap well done guys so uh yeah i'll speak to you guys very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading so for you guys you got a nice big clump of cards so get prepared we have taurus pisces we also have leo sagittarius and aries okay let's move those guys up Okay, and then we also have, oh my god, we got the Ten of Cups. That's amazing. And then we also have, oh, move those to the side a second. Tourmaline, Smudging Root Chakra. Is there another card under there? No, Smudging Root Chakra. Leadership. Relationship Change. Aquamarine, Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Prosperity, there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. We also have imagine what would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? Beautiful, I love that. That's so pretty. That's literally like the Ten of Cups right there. And then we also have balance, will, and attraction. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be connected with someone called Will as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for you guys, we have, as I said, Taurus, Pisces, Leo, Sag, and Aries, or Sagittarius and Aries. And so basically we have three fire signs, one water and one earth. Um, for you guys, I feel like it's really good for you to balance yourself out. Um, it's really important for you to kind of have the willpower to do that, to actually be really determined to help yourself in terms of balancing your emotions out. I feel like in, with this balance, I feel like with this, like the leaves that this woman has around her i feel like an emphasis on autumn and you harvesting and helping yourself out with ma making yourself feel good um it's just like blessings i'm getting like the word blessings luxury self-care so i feel like it's really really important for you guys to have self-care um in terms of your balance and will it's like almost having the willpower as i say to change if there's anything that needs to change or like really kind of helping yourself in terms of like meditation and self-care I think that's really, really going to help you. We also have attraction, number 44. So 44 could be quite prominent for you guys. One, three, and then we've got one and nine there as well. So we have attraction. I feel like you're going to be really, really attractive in the next few months. Obviously, you are attractive anyway. But I feel like more attractive, or you're going to be more attracted to a partner, okay? Um, in terms of finding someone new, I do sense you will find attraction. You will get your love life your family life which is really really great i definitely feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a relationship in december like december time i think is going to be like the love the love section of the year i'm just going to take some water i just pour water all over my cards that was great i always seem to do that i need to be careful i always do that in private readings as well i'm just going to move this taurus card out of the way because i literally just pour water all over it so that's not good. I'm just going to move this little guy over here. So <laughs> let me just dry it off and put him here. So, okay. So yeah, I don't feel like you're going to have a relationship change. This leadership card. Oh my God, I got water on here as well. <laughs> That's not good. So I don't feel like you need to have leadership in your own life. 
balance out being a leader this could be a leader in your own life this could be a leader for somebody else this could be like being a mum and being the leader and having to sort everything out all the time i definitely feel like that's gonna it's pretty important to prioritize yourself in the next three months obviously it's always important to prioritize yourself but especially in the next three months because things are really going to change and things i'm hearing are really going to hot up you possibly could be moving house i'm seeing like this castle is like you moving house and it being really really great i and really really great i feel like for some of you you could also be um moving to like a like buying a new house with your partner uh also for some of you you're going to be getting a mobile home or like a a vacation destination like a like a house in a different country so with this relationship change oh my god there's water okay <laughs> with this relationship change oh my god I've got water on my cards that's so annoying okay anyways i don't feel like you're going to go from single to relationship i don't feel like things will change in your relationship so you could be going from like being in a relationship to uh, engaged um that sort of thing you are on your divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. These two cards are really, really positive. Like, these are extremely positive. It's basically saying you're on the right track, everything you're doing is correct, and you're going to have a massive, posit a massive positive shift in um, your life force. So basically, things are going to change for you. You're going to get a new experience, new a new partner, that sort of thing. Things are changing in your favour. Whatever you've been wanting, this is, this is that coming true. And we also have tourmaline, smudging. So with this balance, this is going to come into balance as well. It's really important for you to smudge yourself when you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, possibly anxious or just overwhelmed. I think it's really, really important for you to smudge yourself, um, <clears throat> for you to kind of be relaxed, to kind of get relaxed, possibly have more baths, showers. You just cleanse yourself more, I feel like. Any way that you feel is necessary, even going outside, grounding yourself that sort of thing get grounded this is all to do your, your your root chakra and also it could be to do with balancing your work and your love life together um and i think that's it guys yeah i feel like it's really really important for you to kind of be in the element of the present as well and with imagine i think this is really good for a manifesting technique this is just to imagine for a second what would you want your partner to look like what would you want to feel what would you hear see think and feel okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to get a primary <laughs> i can't speak if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and yeah if you didn't resonate just let it fly you can choose another group and yeah i'll speak to you very soon much love to you guys have, have a good three months bye